grasslands of Himachal Pradesh, a familiar territory for Suresh Kumar. A pastoralist, he has been walking his flock of sheep for the last 25 years. मैं इसे बहुत प्यार करता था भेड़ बकरी से तो चाचा ने बोला भाई चलो भाई आपने भी दिन देखा ना तो कैसे कैसे जंगल में रहते तो मैंने भी चाचा के साथ जंगल में रहना सीख लिया फिर मेरा जी लग गया उनके साथ और मैं इनके साथ मेरा लगाव हो गया उसके बाद फिर मैं भेड़ बकरी के साथ लगातार आज तक लगा Belonging to the semi-nomadic Gaddi tribe, Suresh earns about 30,000 rupees a month selling milk and wool. But his flock of sheep has severely dwindled. Today the number stands at not more than 50. A crisis many herders of local sheep are struggling with in the region. पहले तो हमारे पास तीन हजार होती थी चाचा जी के साथ आते थे तो अब कम से कम आज के डेट में तो ये सात आठ सौ करीब है ये जो थे दिन प्रतिदिन जो तो कम होती जा रही थी मौसम से लेकर पर्यावरण भी बहुत बदलाव हुआ है जो टाइम के से पहले जो तो पत्ते झड़ रहे हैं देखो वृक्ष नंगे हो रहे हैं इससे क्या होगा जो आने वाली जो सर्दी है तो उसमें हमारे पशु के लिए जो घास की दिक्कत हो जाएगी क्योंकि जो घास जो तो पहले ही रड़ जाएगी झड़ जाएगी नीचे तो फिर पशु क्या खाएगा Every summer, more than one lakh shepherds like Suresh migrate to higher alpine pastures in search of grazing land, staying on till the arrival of winter. This tradition of seasonal migration is as old as the Himalayas. Satya Prasanna from the center for pastoralism explains however why this practice is now becoming more and more difficult in high altitude there's a snow issues is a uh, is a major problem they they can't predict now from their traditional knowledge when the snow is going to start and uh, the volume it's really problematic for them to decide how many days they have to stay and in the low altitudes uh, which is uh, sibali or foothill of the himalaya which is the winter grazing area of himalaya has a major problem of the rainfall because of this low rainfall they have faced the crisis of feeding water to their livestock all the streams and everything is dried up and they moved 15 days or 20 days earlier which was not happened uh, before was they move earlier then that's a major problem of uh, overgraze in the landscape in addition to changing weather patterns reduced pasture sizes have only added to the predicament According to government reports, India lost more than five and a half million hectares of its grasslands in the 10 years between 2005 and 15. The availability of adequate high-quality fodder is becoming a challenge for herders, affecting the health of sheep and in turn their produce. A lot of the grasslands have been taken over for developmental purposes, industrial purposes, by keeping pastoralists Outside forests has ruptured the food cycle. The ill effects of that has been, for instance, overgrowth and therefore also uh, an increase in forest fires. There is enough research to show that grasslands are actually carbon sinks, you know, because they, they hold much more carbon below than above. Nishram Kashyap is well known here in the Chichogi village of Himachal Pradesh. Belonging to a family of pastoralists, he is also a skilled artisan, weaving indigenous wool into traditional Himachali wear. In a typical Himalayan home, pastoral shepherds have often been adept at skills like weaving, crocheting and spinning going on to sell wool and woolen garments locally for additional income. With declining numbers of local sheep breeds, local wool production has taken a natural hit. 
रहन सहन के कारण भीड़ें कम होने के कारण और ऊन कम होने के कारण ये काम कम होता जा रहा है आजकल लोग मतलब जो पट्टू पहनते हैं ना वो कैश लॉन और लाइल का ही बनाना मतलब बनाते हैं और वो ही पहनना पसंद करते हैं क्योंकि जो वो सस्ता भी पड़ता है और कैश लॉन जो लगाते हैं उसमें रंग ज़्यादा होते हैं रंगीन होते हैं इसलिए लोग उसको ज़्यादा पसंद करते हैं Sometime in the late 80s and early 90s India began its import of long staple wool from countries like Australia and New Zealand. With import tariffs being lifted markets were suddenly flooded with finer and softer foreign wool. Between 2010 and 2020 according to a study conducted by CFP the use of indigenous wool dropped to nearly 10% of the total sales. Before early 90s Uh, a lot of our wool was actually getting exported wool which has i would say never been a primary income for shepherds it's always been a balance between meat wool milk our trade policy at the national level um both the wool trade as well as the sheep meat trade both of which have contributed to this fall um how as a result of that the the economics of that the breeds went through shifts and changes against the struggling local economy more and more pastoralists went on to replace their native stock of dual purpose sheep once that produced both wool and meat with hairy breeds that produced only meat changing herd composition and affecting the region's ecological balance jo yahan ki bhedi bakri hai na ye thode ghas hai jo apna guzar kar leti jo baar se aayegi unke liye to ghas kaafi chahiye और अगर उनका पेट में ना भर जाए तो फिर मुश्किल होगा वो मर जाएगी भूख से उनका पेट ही बोला गुजारा नहीं होगा मेनी ग्रोप्स द गोट नंबर हैज इंक्रीज बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मीट मीट मार्केट इज मोर सिक्योर्ड इट हैज ऑलवेज अ सेलर आर आर मोर पावर इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ बायर बिकॉज़ इन द वूल मार्केट इफ यू कैन सी देयर इज नो बायर और मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द पास्टर्स आर स्ट्रगलिंग टू सेल इट For the last 15 odd years, Lucknow-born Swati Seth has been trying to revive the indigenous wool economy of Himachal. A social organization, Color Caravan, sources indigenous wool directly from herders. Rang bhi kitna sundar hai, jo hai. Trains and hires local artisans like Nishran and is helping pastoral communities slowly return to sustainable livelihood practices. when we uh, started working with uh, desi moon uh, initially there were just a couple of farmers we were also doing very very small quantity now uh, uh, thankfully we commit uh, you know we are like connected we have access to uh, two uh, huge herding communities uh, uh, in two uh, uh, valleys of uh, himachal we will be connected to about 50 to 60 herders Uh, and uh, have like uh, own about 4 uh, uh, to 5000 sheep part of cfp's desi oon project color caravan is one of the many grassroots organizations that are working towards developing livelihoods from local wool in a bid to protect native sheep pastoralism across the country our advocacy for the indigenous sheep breed and the wool of that indigenous sheep breed comes essentially from the the resilience of that the breed they are far more resilient to the ecologies of their own region to climatic shifts and changes um they they cost less with a population of more than 74 million india has the third largest number of sheep in the world Despite this, indigenous sheep wool production and with it the demand for indigenous sheep have been dropping steadily over the decades. A phasing out of native breeds would not only mean an end to generational wisdom of livelihood practices but also affect permanently the fragile balance of the Himalayan pastoral ecosystem. Mere to bahut acha hai. Main to yahi karunga jab tak chalta phirta rahega to main yahi kaam karunga. Aur kaam nahi main karne. Kyunki main zeen se bahut lagav hai. बचपन से मैंने बहुत प्यार करता ये परिवार है मेरा परिवार तो घर में लेकिन मेरा परिवार यही है
Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube. Ah! <laughs>